So, a while ago, I made a thread on Twitter that explained in basic form how to save draw calls by reducing the amount of materials and textures for the lowest LUD levels of an object by baking the materials down using the locomotive I made for Rust as the example. In this video, I'm going to show you the same thing but using a weapon instead. Modern weapons in games, depending on their target platform, typically have multiple texture sets to keep the texture density of the model high and consistent enough to match the rest of the game's visual quality. This is typical for larger assets too, like the locomotive in Rust, that occupy large portions of the screen. But when you have a world model of the same object, in this instance a weapon, and LODs are thrown into the mix, you're going to need to make the asset efficient enough so that it can be rendered at far distances without too much of a performance hit. Having lots of materials on an object that is only a few pixels in height on screen isn't that great. So here's a method using Marmoset Toolbag to solve this problem easily. But first, let's look at what we'll need. Let's jump into Blender. I have two versions of the same weapon. The bottom has three texture sets. and the top weapon is a copy of the bottom and I've just repacked all the UVs into one UV set. I've exported them both out at the same point of origin so they overlap perfectly. Now let's open Marmoset Toolbag. Create a new bake project and import both versions of the same asset. I've named the original gun Assault Rifle Original. This will be placed in a high poly because we'll be referencing this mesh for the bake as we would a normal high poly mesh. Next, place the new version of the asset with only one UV set into the new low group. Now, we've got to import all of our materials for the original into toolbag. In this instance, I need to make three new materials and I'll import and assign the textures and materials accordingly. Make sure that you're applying these materials to the high poly mesh and not the low poly mesh. Next we need to set up our bake options. For this example I'm just going to go all out and bake with 64 samples and at 4k resolution. We only need the materials that correlate to the used texture slots and the materials we have for our original gun. So the maps we need to configure are normals, gloss, albedo metal because we're using a metallic workflow and metalness. Once this is done define your bake output hide the high poly and enable the low poly back into view and hit bake. Once the bake is done, hit the preview button to automatically assign the material to the low poly. This is looking great, but there's a few issues that I think can be easily resolved. Firstly, we're missing the gloss, so let's reassign this to the model. And secondly, we can see there is some overlap in the bake too. So let's look at the cage offset of the low. Yep, that'll do it. Let's reduce the offset and bake again. And that's it. We've gone from three materials to one material in less than five minutes. This technique and setup is the exact same one I use for the locomotive. Marmoset's powerful baking tools allow us to bake down a bunch of materials into just one material, saving on those precious draw calls at far distances. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And hey, why don't you stop by the Discord and say hello? Peace.